Airline carriers should provide more comfort for passengers from emerging Asian markets, according to new research. Trends research agency, the Future Laboratory, says consumers from Japan, Singapore and China, who've been called HIFTs or high-income frequent travellers, are already demanding greater comfort from their air carriers. Comfort is seen as the single most important factor to these passengers, even more so than in-flight entertainment and technology. This is because they see comfort and especially seat comfort as key to helping them achieve high standards of business productivity. Demands on airlines are set to increase further with the emergence of a second Asian market. Passengers from Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia and Malaysia who are called NEETs or New Emerging Affluent Travellers. They're flying economy long haul more and more for business. So really what came out of the report certainly is how the passenger, more so than any other passenger globally, really hones in on this thing called the seat and how they fit into it comfortably. And that really dominated the thinking about the notion of flying um, in, in kind of Asian airlines. Productivity was strangely about sleeping. You know, why? Actually, they were thinking about what they needed to do at the point of arrival. So really, their sense of being productive was um, to be able to relax, first and foremost, uh, sleep, and then work. Passenger comfort is directly related to the degree and the nature of passengers' sleep. If passengers are provided more comfortable seats, dim lights, minimize the noise around them, ensure that airflow within their environment is optimal, and that the temperature of the environment is optimal. People who have been completely sleep deprived for a night, that have poor concentration, their mood would be irritable, and they'd have difficulty concentrating on day-to-day -day tasks. The consequences of this for the business traveler are quite significant in that if they were going to a business meeting the next day or had to make important decisions, their concentration would be impacted, their ability to remember facts and events would be impacted and they would be excessively sleepy. In Airbus we don't believe that there should be a compromise between comfort and efficiency. So for airlines operating in the Asian market it's important that they consider the basic needs of their passengers. Unlike some of our competitors who we believe are eroding comfort standards, we at Airbus believe that we can offer comfort without compromise. The Future Laboratory is warning that air carriers ignore the demands of these growing Asian markets at their peril. Airlines need to catch up with this increased demand for comfort on behalf of, of kind of Asian travellers. Because if they don't, in the future, they're going to be missing out on one of the fastest growing airline passenger groups in the history of aviation.